Hey, hey, hey. Uh, happy? What day is it? Wednesday. When I come out of a near training, I'm often in that place of where am I in time and space? Maybe similar to um, if you take a vacation, do you have that place of actually losing sense of that um, mechanical time of the day of the week and what we were normally doing and, and that good stuff? I'm just out of a white belt yesterday and we had a great, we're doing the 30 day challenge for the seventh time and I was doing my 30 minute class this morning where we went deep dive into focusing on comfort, going to that place of where can I just, nothing pushed, nothing pulled, be relaxing into being um, rather than focusing on that to-do list and the mechanical, mechanical, mechanical. It doesn't necessarily mean that I have to check out from life and check out from all these things I need to do. Um, for me, part of natural time is how can I actually not only do the things I need to do, how can I actually be more efficient and get more done whilst being in the flow of natural time, whilst being in comfort, while being gentle on myself, not pushing, not pulling, just being in the flow, enjoying the experience, and being so pleased and satisfied and relaxed at the end of the day by doing the same things. And the difference is I'm paying attention to sensation, I'm in my body, and I'm paying attention to the pleasure and what is available, real and true to me, to allow every experience, whether it's QuickBooks, doing a class, doing my emails, doing, doing, doing. I've got to clear my laundry room today. Oh, Joe said, you've got to do that today. I was like, yes, I would love to be doing that. So I'm here actually preparing for my next session, um, our music series that we're doing. And I've got a natural time calendar a workshop coming up this weekend as we'll be celebrating the new year, which begins on Monday and day out of time. I think it is. <laughs> on Sunday. So it's so funny as I'm right here, it's like, okay, I finished my class. I've got this workshop I need to get ready for that's going to be happening at noon. And I was like, well, I'm a little behind on knowing where I am on the natural time calendar. So I reached for this present year's calendar. The artwork is always so beautiful. Thank you, Sky, for how you put this together. And I've been following this since I was pregnant and my daughter is now going to be 26 this year. Um, so I love that I have 26 of these calendars and been on a ride of witnessing um, Sky, who um, was the, the mastermind behind this, the artist, the collaborator, the wise one really, um, behind bringing this form of calendar into such a beautiful, artful way. And um, really, you know, time is art. Yeah, and on her calendar she says here, by Sky Time, um, the galactic calendar, a higher frequency of time. So basically every year with this calendar, we have 13 moons, and each moon is 28 days, like the natural moon, and each 28 days can be divided into four seasons. Um, and the colors red, white, blue, yellow, yeah? And so four weeks gives you 28 days. When you multiply 13 by 28, you get 364. So that leaves a glorious, delicious, wonderful day at a time. So this natural time calendar year, it will end, like the calendar says, uh, well, it says it ends on July the 25th, yeah, which is actually the day at a time. And then the next calendar begins on July the 26th, and we start another beautiful 13 moons, each moon, 28 days. So I went to the last moon in this year's calendar, and I'll show you some going through these 13 pages, just like you go through a regular calendar with the 12 months when going through each of the moons. And I get to the 13th moon, yeah. and the 13th moon says that is the cosmic moon of presence. Endure, transcend, presence. 
And I love how, without looking at the calendar, that was pretty much what we were doing in class this morning. And that just tickles me when sometimes organically, intuitively, I really don't know how, but I do get pleasure knowing oh, we were doing that in class. That was in line with our focus and we're in line with the frequency, the higher frequency yeah, of this moon. So then I go along the weeks until I can find, I know that we're in our last week, so it's the yellow week here. And I'm looking for today, which is Wednesday, July the 21st. So in your calendar, it actually does have the Gregorian calendar. Um, so July and the number of the month. So July 21st, and guess what? It's connecting with the second chakra. And it says, blue spectral storm, guided by self-generation. Well, exciting for me is out of the 20 tribes in the natural time calendar, Blue Storm, it's my day. It's my day. I bond to serve. That's the tone of electricity. And my tribe is guided by self-generation. So I delight knowing it's like, it's my day today. And how good that I can be out of the white belt, into the class, getting ready for my music session, stirring things up. I'm gonna clear out my laundry room this afternoon. And then what I can do is, I can go to what the tone and the tribe is for today and let that be part of my personal meditation and focus as I go through my daily activities. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to my tribes and find Blue Storm. So, there are 20 tribes, and I have them on these little things. I usually have them at the studio, and I can go through each tribe. And I go through one, two, three. I actually know Storm is near the back, so tribe 17, 18, and look at that. Tribe number 19 is Blue Storm. So on Blue Storm, power is catalyze. Action is self-generation and essence is energy. So I have that as my tribe. Then I'm gonna look for my tone, and today's tone is spectral. I know that spectral, out of the 13 tones, it's number 11. Number 11 is my favorite number. I see those two ones like a gateway. Have you ever thought about that, yeah? Just put your hands like this, and there's the number 11 a gateway that opens us up into possibilities. I was born in 1965, 65 gives you an 11. I was born on February 1, 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2. And guess what? I was born on February the 11th. Also the symbol for Soma Ranch that was created by my web designer without him knowing the bars and the dots of the natural time calendar. He did our logo, which is a circle with a dot and two bars. He saw that as Helen's simple Zen desire for the logo. I said, I want it simple, I want clean lines, and I'd like it to represent the body. So Jean-Marie and Elaine, they were like, well, we'll do a dot for the head, a bar for the arms, and a bar for the legs. And we'll make it simple and balanced, which is another thing that Helen loves. So there's two circles, the little dot and the big circle, two circles, and there's two lines. Also, the little dot and the big circle is representing the yang in the center of the yin and the yin in the center of the yang. Balance, harmony, spherical, harmonious movement. So all of that, but what Jean-Marie and Elaine didn't know is the number 11 in natural time a bar is five, and the dots are single units. So the number 11 is two bars and one dot. What a surprise when I saw the logo for Soma Ranch first of all, I was like, number 11, you gave me 11. It's like the Mayan symbols, it's two bars and a dot. And they're like, what are you talking about? And it was a perfect like body-centered click. They didn't know that system. But what delight, it gave me that right fit by accident. Yeah, the, in me, we call it the accidental click. Something that didn't necessarily come from mind, but came from something deeper. So the 11th tone is spectral. 
and that is dissolve, release, liberation. So for my day to day, as I'm choosing, as I'm preparing for my session, I'm preparing to clear my laundry room, then maybe go for a walk in the forest or a swim in the pool, I am looking at catalyzing to dissolve in an action of self-generation. I just came out of a training, I'm rather than just flopping, I'm looking at how can I self-generate. I had some nice hydration this morning, but I also let myself have a frothy coffee and a muffin with butter and marmalade. Why? That's what my spirit wanted to self-generate today. So I catalyze, I dissolve and catalyze, connecting the spectral action of release with self-generation. So as I get tense today and thinking I've got all these things I've got to do, I release and let my spirit just keep self-generating, trusting that in natural time I'll get what needs to get done today done. And finally, liberation is the essence of spectral and energy is the essence of blue storm. So I am here in liberation and energy. See if I can liberate myself. It's a new day. I feel liberated and I'm enjoying the energy of the day. So that, my friends, is a little tiny taste of, um, of natural time. Um, I'll put a link here too for if you wanted to order a calendar from Sky's website. It's 13moon.com. That's 13moon.com. And the calendar in itself is beautiful artwork. And then inside, she explains in amazing detail the cycling of time, how there's this spirals, how we connect with the beautiful flow of number 13. And then there's the calendar of the 13 moons. And then at the back, there's much more details about each of the tribes and each of the tones. So that means you can go through learning a little bit more about yourself, learning more about the people around you, learning more about the day. So for 260 days, if you want to, you can be setting your focus for the day like I just shared what I did for today. And at the very back, this back page is like a complete cheat sheet. It's the cliff notes to everything that you need to know for this beautiful calendar. It lists the 13 tones with the power, action, and essence. And it also lists the 20 tribes, their powers, and their essences if that is plural for it. It talks about your daily affirmation, how to create that, and also the phases of the moon, the lunar phases. Um, so I highly recommend, it's a fabulous calendar to get. Those of you who want to come in person to Soma Ranch, I've got them in stock, so I hope to see you on Sunday for that. And if you'd like to attend the workshop, I'm doing an introductory workshop about natural time Sunday afternoon. And after that, we're going to be actually going into the dance, celebrating how we are each unique and connected. In the dance, we connect with the tone. We connect with our tribe. We connect with the directions of north, south, east, west, with the colors red, white, blue, yellow. We then connect with are we a dot tribe or a bar tribe? or are we a dot and a bar tribe? And by the end of that experience, what's beautiful is we've been individual and separate, and then there's been this symbolic experience of how we weave and connect with different people. And then by the end, we really do feel connected. Yeah, we are one. So whatever you choose to do, it's great that the day at a time, doot, uh, is on Sunday. I think it is on Sunday this year. Um, so on a day at a time, it's like, what do I do there? It's just, can you set aside some time to really look at where you've been in the last year and reflect and then cast into the next natural time year, maybe cast into sensing this beautiful, natural, regular, reliable cycle of 28 days um, to flow into the next year. So be well, whatever you choose today, and let something be there of your focus. Catalyze self-generation energy with the spectral tone of what is it today for you to dissolve? I like the word dissolve. It's not, it's like completely 
transforming, transforming <laughs> from one thing to the next. And to dissolve in that process, what are you releasing? Yeah, maybe what are you turning from matter into ether? What are you allowing to dissolve into liquid? Yeah, to release. And from that, be in the essence of today is a day for liberation. Enjoy whatever you're doing. I would be so honored if you choose to join me on Sunday. I am teaching as usual online, so my live class is at the moment at 10 o'clock Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And you get to be here in the Soma Ranch studio. Bye, my friends. Be well.